Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca, for those of you that don't know me already. Um, today I'm going to be doing a wash and go, which is basically my personal curly hair routine and how I style my hair. I am going to be showing you the products that I use to deep condition, the products that I use to do my hair or set my hair on a daily basis, including some products that I'm testing right now. They're um, a little bit less expensive. For those of you that have like seen stuff on Instagram or talked to me in person, you know I love a Diva Curl. And I've really been using that. That's something that took me out of having like really bad hair into realizing how curly my hair was and really just taking care of it. And um, it's a great line, it's really good to use. It is a little bit more on the expensive side. Some people have said that they can't afford it. So I just recently have started with that mentality to try other little things. So when I go to Target and I see things that are on sale or a product that is um, a lower price point and they say that they're silicone and sulfate free or paraben free. I really like to try that now just to experiment. And so far it's been pretty good. I found some really good little things in between. Um, today I'm going to be using a Pacifica deep conditioner hair mask and then I'll show you the other products that I have as well. So I'm going to go do a deep condition and I'll be back. Okay. All right guys. So just like that, nice and quick, um, just like a five minute deep condition in and out of the shower kind of day. If you're new to transitioning your hair, a lot of people really do not wash their hair on a daily basis. Um, it is pretty rare, I guess, to find someone with curly hair who has greasy hair or like oily hair. You're really not gonna find that um, because of your hair being curly and the cuticle growing basically in a spiral or in a wave. The cuticle's never completely closed. So then your hair tends to lose moisture a lot easier. So if you are new to doing your hair curly and it's getting there I really recommend not washing it every day being in the shower today I use this I don't know if we'll get a good focus on that but here we go so Pacifica pineapple hydrate curl nourishing mask um, Pacifica actually is 100% vegan and cruelty free, so all of their products are formulated vegan and cruelty free. They do not test on animals in any way. There's no animal byproducts in there. Um, they also say that they are formulated without petroleum, parabens, SLS, which is sodium lauryl sulfate, something that will strip your hair. It's the soap, or it's what creates soapiness in soap that we know of, or in shampoo, it creates that lather. Um, it is not 100% necessary, it really does just strip the natural oils and um, things right out of your hair, which for curly hair is absolutely, <laughs> don't do it. Anyway, when I get out of the shower, some days um, when I'm home, I have time and I'm not running to the gym. I like to use Carol's Daughter's um, Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. It's like just a little spray, spritz kind of thing. And I'll just kind of spray it in toward the ends of my hair. Um, it is the dead of winter in upstate New York right now. And super hard to retain any kind of moisture in your hair. So we're gonna be super gentle with it. Give it lots of love and keep adding all the moisture that it needs. So, Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler. It helps to find your hair. When you get out of the shower, you're gonna to wanna to put this on underneath gel. So as you can see, I'm not, um, not really, I'm trying not to rake my fingers through my scalp. I've just found with my hair having a hard time bouncing back, I gotta do it in the back. With my hair having a hard time bouncing back in the winter, it's just, I don't know what's up. Maybe just the cold weather is just shocking everything and pulling it down. But I just try to be really gentle on it. I kind of scrunch to put the product in. So we're gonna use a little bit more on this side. So yeah, like that much. So I do not have thick hair. If you have thick hair, you're gonna need a lot more of this. I would recommend, like I used to do when I first started using this, just going in and pulling up your hair in sections like this, which we can do real quick. And we'll use a little bit extra, I'll show you how we do. You get right under here in these curls and then you can finger curl them to kind of just encourage them to do this. But so anyway, we're just gonna finish adding this and we'll move on. All right, so next. We are going to be using, it's a little shiny, Diva Curls Be Leave In. It's like a volumizing, it's not a, it's not really like a gel. I mean, it has the consistency of a gel, but it's very like watery. If you wanna see, it's literally just like this. So I like to actually mix this with my gel um, and use a little bit of both. So we have 
the holy grail of all hair gels. If we can get it here. Ah, there it is. Diva Curl's Ultra Defining Gel. Sorry, it's a little goopy on the front. It's looking ugly. Um, Diva Curl has an ultra defining gel, a light hold gel. Here, my hair obviously is very, is very curly. It's ringlet curly. Um, so I really need the hold to help support my hair. So we just use, we use bunch, bunch that. Alright, last but not least um, is Diva Curl's Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. Um, I really like this one. This I only will use toward my roots. I feel like it tends to be a little bit sticky, so I don't like to put it all over my head. But what I have found, and the reason why I do like the product so much, is that this volumizing foam actually um, is great for your roots if you need help getting volume. This, I just take like two pumps of this, just put it all over your hands, and you're gonna go in under your hair, just kind of slide your hands up into here. So there you have it. It is actually super simple. This whole curl routine of putting stuff in my hair probably takes me about five minutes. I'm sure I should take longer and uh, spend more time distributing product through my hair. But if you know me, I'm also notoriously late to most things. But yeah, here we are. So, so I'm gonna diffuse my hair. I dry my hair on a medium, medium setting. So hair dryer, not completely cool. Sometimes I'll go back and forth between this. I'll use the completely cool and the little bit of heat. This is my absolutely positively favorite to use diffuser. It is from the Curly Co, which you can get, I believe I got this for maybe, maybe $12 on Amazon. This is what I'm gonna be using. It's made of like silicone. It's super bendy and collapsible and marvelous. And it has like this kind of like honeycomb pattern inside, which I don't really know what the theory is behind that, but man, it works. It has a really small end on it. So this one kind of slides off, but another hair dryer bit the dust when the stink bug got in it this summer. If you live in New York, you know. So I'm gonna go through, um, I just go through and I start massaging my scalp, which just roughs up the hair right at the base of your scalp, gives you more volume, keeps it super fluffy. So you just go in just like this. They say to scrunch the product once your hair is completely dry, it breaks the curl cast that the ultra defining gel has. So you just go through your hair, just like this, nicely, gently. And as you can see, as we do that, we get even more volume, especially up near the roots, just like that, and see? So this is my basic routine. Um, the only thing that I would usually change would be that mousse. I would probably go without it sometimes. Um, the only thing I do notice is it, it makes things a little bit sticky. So once that product kind of hits your hair, it just is something that's inevitable with that. But it does get this awesome volume. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below so you will always get the new updates for any videos that I come out with in the future. If you have a question about something, let me know in the comments um, if there's something you want me to make a video about, maybe cover a topic. Um, if it's something that I know how to do or can answer your question, I would be happy to film a video about it. Um, thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. This has actually been really fun, so who knew talking to a camera by yourself for an hour could be a thing. 
but anyway thank you guys for stopping by